Hello friends, I am here today with my son, Jared Smith, our Chief Marketing Officer, and on this video we're going to talk about Label Design 101. And uh, we were kind of just laughing uh, before uh, we began recording this because uh, this has been uh, certainly the most time-consuming part of our business and probably we've spent as much money on label design as anything. So share with, share, share with our viewers a little bit about the importance overall of label design. Yeah, the label is huge, uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, it speaks to who your brand is. It is uh, the thing that's ultimately going to bring a prospect realistically into uh, the community that you're trying to build, into the brand you're trying to build. It's that first impression. Uh, so having something that's both uh, beautiful and extremely clear, it says exactly you know what you sell, uh, how much is in there, is just you know of uh, the upwards and uh, importance. And what are the what are the uh, the elements of a label design that you think are most important? Yeah, I you know one of the biggest things I've probably learned over the last year is how important um, the actual uh, it's, it's funny to say this, <laughs> but the actual product is you know the this the soft gel or the tincture or whatever that is, and making sure that that's prominent. You know, as a marketer, it's easy to want to put your brand first. It's easy to want to make your logo massive. You know, one of the most common requests that we would receive uh, at my agency when, when we were running that is, can you make my logo bigger? <laughs> I mean, it, just about every website we built, it was, can you make my logo bigger? And the logo is important, but it's not the most important thing. And as I've gone through and really analyzed some of the most successful uh, nutrition brands, not just CBD brands, but with nutrition brands across the board, they really make the, the um, whatever the ingredient is or whatever the product is, that's the hero of the label. And, uh, and, and so if it's soft gels, it's big CBD soft gels or CBD tincture. That is the most prominent thing uh, that, that they, you know, make as the hero in that. And I was just thinking about, you know, the first time Joy, my mom, uh, you know, saw our labels and they actually got it on video uh, and, you know, she looked at the front of the label and was like, wow, this is so beautiful. Looked at the back and couldn't read a single word on the back of the label. And so it just goes to show you, you got to make sure that people can understand and read, you know, all of the content that's on these labels. And, you know, we spent a lot of time and a lot of money, you know, and as crazy as this sounds, just getting the right font the right size and you know there's hundreds if not thousands of different fonts but there's one absolutely when it's reduced down to the size of a tincture bottle yeah. you yeah. can view the most yeah the exactly easiest. yeah exactly and that's why you know as i look at all of the different things that we've that we've taught about on this little training uh, you know on marketing for cbd companies um this is one of those areas i would say don't don't do this alone don't try to do this yourself i mean between the compliance errors uh, that you could make that could end up costing you your entire company. You know, if, if you know, FDA can send you a warning letter, but the FTC can shut you down if you're making too many claims or doing the wrong things. Uh, and so this is one of those things where the label actually is given the highest uh, importance from the FDA standpoint. That's more important than what you put on your website. It's more important than what you say on social media, anything else. So from a compliance standpoint, from a, a clarity, a brevity standpoint, from a design standpoint, there's just too many things uh, that can go wrong. And that's why I, I would just highly recommend you use either our team or a professional that's actually done this before and has had success in this area. Yeah, the, the funny thing is, is that, uh, uh, you know, over the last year, we've had top branding firms and, you know, other people who specialize in design, but nobody has ever been able to give us, number one, a label that's easy to read, or number two, we've never been given a label that, you know, according to where we believe the industry is going, that even would be considered compliant. Exactly, exactly. It's just that there's way too many things that somebody would have to know in order to do this really, really well. You know, uh, following this interview, I'm uh, interviewing uh, Leslie, our, our general counsel, and one of the topics is going to be website compliance. Another one is label compliance. Yeah. And, 
you know, we, we, you know, we deal with this with a lot of people because they want, you know, they want some font a different size or they want, you know, something and it's kind of like, hey, you know, you can't mess with a lot of this label um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's important. Now, one of the things that's clearly a trend in the CBD industry, it's kind of funny that we would be saying this is a trend, you know, if you go to Whole Foods or Lucky's or Sprouts and you look at supplements, you know, vitamin C says vitamin C, and then it says the amount per serving or melatonin, the amount per serving. It yep. doesn't say how much is in the whole bottle. Exactly. I mean, imagine buying a bottle of melatonin that's two milligrams per serving for 30, and it says 60 milligrams melatonin yeah. on the front. And that's kind of how the industry started, and probably because, you know, they were, you know, the cost of CBD was so expensive, if there were 500 milligrams in a bottle, they wanted to promote there were 500 exactly. milligrams. Exactly. But now it's all amount about the amount of milligrams per serving. It is. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, and this is one of the things, again, just really having a clear handle on the industry, uh, making sure you're paying attention to your competitors. Uh, but you're exactly right. The industry started by promoting the overall amount. And now, you know, and it's funny, even early on, I was like, this seems kind of silly, but everybody was doing it. So it was like, let's, let's do it. But right now we're seeing all of the top companies uh, move to a per uh, milligram serving amount on the, the front of the labels. And we just did, you know, really over the next probably three or four months, I would expect everybody will move over to that. Yeah, and so the prominent is the amount per serving. And, you know, still during this transitionary phase, we're putting the amount per serving, but we're also putting the amount in the bottle, yeah. just so if somebody's looking at another bottle next to us, that exactly. says 500 milligrams, they can see that we have 500 milligrams of hemp extract, but 15 milligrams of CBD in our tincture. Exactly, exactly. What other elements do you think that should be considered by anybody who is launching a CBD brand and kind of trying to identify what kind of label they want, what kind of label design they want? Yeah, the, it, it all comes down to really what we talked about in our you know CBD marketing 101 video, and that's understanding your target audience. We can create just about any label that somebody would want. Um, but the key uh, for us is going to be making sure that you first understand who you're targeting. You know, what are their likes and dislikes? What are some other brands that they like? I uh, was at a barber shop yesterday with my kids. They were getting their hair cut. And I spent almost the entire time writing down every single company that I believe our customers would, would are currently associated with. You know, companies like Whole Foods, Lululemon. You know, that if somebody shops at one of those, they're probably going to be attracted to a brand like ours. And I would suggest that all of our customers do the same thing. And when they get their labels designed, they provide us with that information. Tell us, who are you targeting? Is it a man? Is it a woman? What's their age range? You know, what are brands that they like? Uh, so that when we put our stuff together, we can have all that and, you know, kind of make a smoothie out of it. And it pops out the other side uh, as to something that's going to resonate with your target market. You know, as you were talking, uh, I was thinking again of Foria. Mm -hmm. And uh, Foria, we talked about on the other video that they have really focused on the female market. And yes. basically, if you're a male, you are not welcome. Yeah, in, in a sense. Exactly. I mean, they, they, that's, that's a joke. But, you know, if you, look at, if you look at their branding and you look at even the font of their logo, it is all delicate yes. and targeted to it's their Perfect audience. example. Perfect yeah. example of a company that really took the time to understand their demographic, to understand you know, what customers they want to make sure their brand resonates with. And then they did that throughout the whole branding experience. It's on their labels, it's on their websites, it's on their blogs. Their blogs talk about things that only a female would be interested in. So they've done a really, really good job of that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, this is uh, Label Design 101 with Jared. And uh, if you have not watched our uh, other videos, this is the fourth of uh, the videos that we're recording today. Uh, I encourage you to do that. There's a lot of great little nuggets of gold that. Uh, that you'll get out of those. And Jared, since we're wrapping up today, anything uh, stand out in your mind that you want to share with our viewers? No, I think just the biggest thing is just make sure you understand who you're targeting and how you're going to get in front of them. Those are the two most important questions in marketing. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you.